let's be honest. <coughs> let's be honest. If babies aren't spitting up, they're thinking about spitting up or making spit up snow angels or they are pooping off the changing table, hitting the wall six feet away. True story. Or they're getting food everywhere. The point is, babies are a mess. Parenting tip number 457. Get lots of burp cloths and scatter them across the house so you always have one within arm's reach. Parenting tip number 458. Pour yourself a drink and mix them with me right now. Hi, I'm Nikita and welcome to my channel where this is what I do. I drink and I sip things. Today I'm drinking another pumpkin cider. This one's just pumpkin though, not pumpkin spice. This is Ace Cider Company pumpkin. Oh my gosh, so good you guys. This is one of my favorites. Mmm, just tastes like heaven. For this project you're going to need flannel fabric. One yard will make about eight burp cloths. You're also going to need some towels. You'll need one towel for every yard of flannel that you have. A rotary cutter is also going to make this a lot easier. So let's do this thing. So what I did for this project is I actually made myself a template out of foam core board that I got at the Dollar Tree. And that way I can just cut around it with my rotary cutter and then they'll be the exact same size every time. So you can make this out of cardboard, cardstock, those thin plastic cutting boards, or you can just measure and cut every time. Whatever. Up to you. My template measures 16 and 1 half inches by 10 inches. This will give us a finished burp cloth size of 9 inches by 15 and a half inches, which is a nice good size with a half inch seam allowance. So let's cut our fabric. end up with some extra flannel fabric, go ahead and save it because in an upcoming video, I'm going to show you how to make cloth wipes out of flannel. This little tiny strip here is not enough to save, but this larger one is. So I'm going to put this aside. Now you're going to take your template and you're going to cut the same number of towel rectangles as you did flannel rectangles. Pro tip, don't use the finished edges in your towel rectangle. It'll make it a little bit harder to sew. To get the most out of this towel with the least amount of waste, I'm gonna do one row of burp cloths going this way and one row of burp cloths going this way. I don't know how much of this you can see, but in the process of making these things to clean up after your baby, you're gonna make kind of a mess. Might I suggest that after you're done making them, you wash them one more time to get all those fuzzies off. Put those over there for now. Now that we have our fabric and our towels cut, we're going to pin them together. Start with one towel, right side up, but it doesn't really matter. Take a piece of flannel, right side down, line it up, and then you're gonna clip or pin the edges. Remember to leave yourself a reminder of some kind. Double clips, pins going the opposite direction so that you don't sew over this gap here in the middle. My gap is about four inches. It's gonna be enough for me to get my hand in to turn it right side out. Now that I've done it to one, I'm actually gonna do it to all of them at the same time because I find that pinning them all and then sewing them all actually saves me time as opposed to pin, sew, pin, sew, pin, sew, pin, sew. Take a drink break. I actually ran out of clips, so I'm going to go sew these before I pin my second color. I'm going to top stitch all the way around using a half inch seam allowance and make sure that you leave that gap so that you can turn it right side out. Now that you've got this nice giant pile of burp cloths, you need to clip the corners straight across as close to the corner as you can get, but do not snip the corner. Pro tip. If you've got some extra fabric on the outside of your seam, go ahead and trim it off. But make sure that you don't trim the fabric that is on your opening because we need that extra bit to fold it under when we turn it right side out and top stitch it. Ooh, okay, you deserve a drink. Mm. Yes! Now 
it's time to turn them right side out. See how our corners are kind of crumpled? Take a pen or a pencil, the small end, not the pencil end and not an open pen. Push it into the corner so that it pokes the corner out and kind of roll it, kind of roll the seam under your fingers and it'll push the fabric out. You want to do that to all four corners. See? Now do it to all of them. Ugh. An iron? What's that doing here? I guess I'll just have to press all of my seams. I know that was cheesy, but don't judge me. I used to teach 11 year olds. I like to press my seams flat or as flat as they will go. Pressing them flat makes it easier when we top stitch them. You're also going to need to tuck under this open edge, pin or clip it in place. Now do this for all of your burp cloths. Now I've got this giant pile of clipped burp cloths. We are going to top stitch them. So take it to your sewing machine and stitch all the way around forward and back stitching. I like to line it up with my presser foot so that I can keep my seam straight. Let's go do this thing. another project. I can't take a drink because this is empty. <laughs> Sad. I managed to get 14 burp cloths out of two yards of fabric and two towels. My total cost of this project was seven dollars. Now that you have sewn all these great burp cloths, go forth, make messes, clean them up, and then come back for the next video so that you can drink along and sew along with me. Thanks for watching. That was fun. Let's do it again.